Hello millennials, you must be familiar with this one tourist destination that is no other than Lawang Sewu Semarang. Lawang Sewu is a famous building in Semarang, Central Java, Indonesia, which was built as the headquarters of the Netherlands Indonesia's Perwet Mansa Beach Railway Company. The colonial era building is famous as a haunted house and filming location, although the Semarang city government has sought to rebrand it. Well, millennials, before continuing, we want to talk to one of the visitors. Sebelumnya, namanya siapa ya mbak? Nama saya Kak Wiwin. Kak Wiwin ini asalnya dari mana? Dari Bandung. Oh, uh, mengapa Kak Wiwin tertarik mengunjungi Lawang Sewu? Soalnya saya kan suka ya sama traveling gitu Terus um, setiap kali lihat kota Semarang tuh Yang selalu teringat dalam benar saya tuh lawang sewu gitu Oh, uh, tahu dari mana kak kalau ada lawang sewu di Semarang? Dari sosmed sih uh, Terus spot foto yang paling disukai di lawang sewu itu sebelah mana ya kak? Hmm, di lorongnya itu, lewatan pintu-pintunya gitu yang penting This building was designed by famous Dutch architects Professor Klinkhammer and B.J. Ondek. Construction began on February 27, 1904 and was completed in July 1907. The first buildings to be worked on were the ticket printing office and the main building. In this main building, there is stained glass made by G.L. Artis Sorgen from Studio T. Prinsenhof in Delft. The first building has an eye shape that faces the Tugumuda roundabout. There are two identical towers in this building that were originally used to store water with a capacity of 7,000 liters. There is a large staircase in the middle of this building. In addition, the building also has tunnels that connect it with several other sites in the city, including the governor's house and the port. After several years of use, the office expanded by creating a new building on the northeast side in 1916 to 1918. At the time of the Japanese occupation, Lawang Sewu was used as the office of Ryoku Sokyoku Japanese Transport Office. After independence in 1945, Lawang Sewu became the Central Exploitation Office of GKARI or Jawatan Kereta Republik Indonesia. In 1946, it was used as the headquarters of the Dutch Army, so the GKARI office had to move. After the recognition of Indonesian sovereignty in 1949, Lawang Sewu was used by Kodam for Diponegoro. In 2009, there was a restoration held by PT Kereta Api Indonesia or Persero. On July 5, 2011, the inauguration of Kurna Pugar Cultural Heritage, a building Lawang Sewu was carried out. So millennials, what do you think of Lawang Sewu? Which part is the most interesting? We'll see you in the next video. Bye!